Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to see all these new subscribers. And to my current subscribers, I can't do it without you guys. You are helping to grow this channel. And I really appreciate you guys. So thank you so much. All right, so today is the long awaited, much requested bubble frosting <laughs> recipe. It's, and I debated on whether to give you my proprietary top secret recipe. That is my all time favorite. And I mean, it's just the best. I've, I worked on it for a long time. Or to give you like the beginners one that I learned and I worked with. But I decided you guys are supportive of me. So I'm going to be supportive of you and give you my recipe. So let's do this. All right, everyone. So I recommend you watch this video all the way through before attempting it. It really, really does make a difference because even though there's only a few ingredients, even though it's a very easy recipe, it also can be temperamental. So you have to work fast, have everything ready, and uh, know when to stop whipping up the, the whip. <laughs> All right, so let's get started here. Hopefully you either wrote down or took a screenshot or a photo of the recipe. But in case you didn't, I left a little notes throughout the video with what I was adding just to make it easy. Sometimes my audio and video don't match up. I try, but I'm still struggling with my editing programs. One day I'll get something appropriate, right? <laughs> All right. So the ingredients are two cups of baking soda, and I run them through a sifter twice. So I do it the first time while I'm putting them in, and then I take everything out that I've sifted, and I run it through one more time just to make sure it's good and sifted chunks in your bubble cream frosting are not going to be good so you want to make sure they are nice and sifted all right next thing you're adding is two tablespoons of white cowling clay check the description i will do my best to leave um where i bought these items uh, or any links to where you can buy them in the description all right, we also have one tablespoon of arrowroot powder, which I used in organic, but I don't think it really matters. And one tablespoon of cream of tartar. You can find this at both of these ingredients at any restaurant or a restaurant supply store. They are very, very common. And this isn't tartaric acid. It is cream of tartar. Just to be clear, cream of tartar, <laughs> there is a difference and it will change the recipe. Finally, we have the question about scented oil. So I like to leave my meringues unscented and I feel most people don't care about it. You can scent all these things, of course, but I mean, if they're getting batharoons, there's usually not a problem because the bath bomb mix is scented. And I mean, you can add scent. You just take off um, the uh, one of the teaspoons of the cocoa bee and replace it with scent or two of the teaspoons and replace it with scent. Um, but, you know, scent can be tricky because you're working with oils and oils can affect the whip or the color. So I just try to stay away from it. But you do you. And tell me down in the comments if it works. I mean, I'd love to see your creations. And uh, yeah, so I think it's great. 